Arbor Meadows versus Kimberly Fights. President, you're on. On behalf of the plaintiff. All right. Where are we on this case? Um, I got the title and I had the wrong address, so I had to go back to Secretary of State. So I got another title and I was present with Annette and gave her all the titles that I had to the property um, early this week. Okay, so you just have to go change the address on the title? Yes, yes. How long is that going to take you? Because you're voluntarily surrendering, but... Um, well, they told Secretary of State's told me that because my name is on the title, that's what they go by, not so much the address. They said that Annette could take the title um, to Secretary of State's and have it transferred over to her name the way it is. Yeah, that's I wouldn't imagine the address would matter all that much. It, it doesn't. I went a couple times because they kept messing it up. And the last time I went in, um, I actually, in fact, right now in my hand, I have uh, five copies of the title. That's how many times I went in because I ke kept incorrectly putting the address on it. And the last time the lady told me that the address does not matter. It's that there's no lien on it and my name is on it. And I did sign it over to Annette the other day. Okay, um, so it's Monday everything's been everything's been done then. Yes. All right. What do you want to do, counsel? I would imagine put it over a couple of weeks. All right. And then it'll probably be dismissed. All right. I'll join this matter June 30th, 2023, 12 noon. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Honor. Thank you. Court does call the case of Augusta Woods versus Mark Beerus. Brandy Byers here for Mark. He's at work. Brent Ingram for the plaintiff. No, I got to okay, get there's up. Mark and Brandy is on it. All right. Um, where are we now? I have a money order for $566.50 to drop off to them as soon as I get done with this. And then I will I'll have a balance of $566.50 that I will pay next Friday, the 23rd. Yeah, this was adjourned so you, to pay in full, Your Honor. Right now, we had some other bills we had to get taken care of okay. on the I, last couple of weeks. If she can get it paid in full by the 30th, I don't have any objection to putting it out till then. Um, but if not, then we're probably going to have to ask for a judgment. It will be paid in full by next week. Understood. All right. Now I'll turn this matter out, and I'm going to put in here that you're going to pay in full next okay. week. So I'm going to adjourn this matter June 30th, 2023, 12 noon. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. West Ridge Mobile Home Park versus Kenneth Veneer. I'm present. The plaintiff. Mr. Veneer? Yes, sir. I'm here. All right. Where are we on this, folks? Last time we were here, it was 1457 and 51 right. cents. The total owing right now, Judge, is 15, 18, 58, 170 of court costs. So 16, 88, 58 is the balance. I agree with Say that. Again. What do you have as the balance? It's sixteen eighty-eight fifty-eight. Okay, so last time, well, that was June second. We were here, or you guys were here, and the total balance, including court costs, was fourteen fifty-seven fifty-one. I'm checking the ledger right now, Judge. I do All have right. a representative here from Westridge as well if they want to chime in too before I get to it. I'm not disputing what the attorney says, Your Honor. I also have looked at the email because I co-signed for this property for my daughter. 
Okay, I just want to make sure that the amount is correct. No, so, what he correct. I looked at the email uh, yesterday. Okay. Okay, it appears, Judge, that there were some late fees applied and a water bill, and that's Got what it. put that, us up that to the sense. current amount. Yep. That makes sense. So is there any reason, sir, you can think of I shouldn't grant them a judgment for this full amount? Well, sir, um, I'm in the process now of trying to get her out of the property. The park is aware of that. They serve the initial notice. So I do already have uh, a notice to quit with them that I have to come file with the court because it is now 30 days past since. So uh, I had told the park that if I can get her out of there, I have no problems. On There's a gentleman waiting to buy that trailer just to cover what I owe the park. I myself am on workman's comp right now with a broken leg, um, trying to pay my own bills. And believe me when I tell you, it's like, you know, robbing Paul to pay Peter. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find that there's no tribal issue after hearing. I'm going to grant a judgment to the plaintiff. Um, she's actually not. Oh, this is against you. I'll find it after after hearing. What is the total amount? Uh, the the redemptive or the um, the total redemptive amount is sixteen eighty eight fifty eight, Your Honor. The rent to retain is fifteen eighteen fifty eight, and the court cost is one seventy. Gotcha. All right. So I'll grant a judgment with that redemption amount. I the rent won't issue until the thirtieth, so I'll grant a few more days to try to understood. Um, let the defendant get things situated. No objection. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. You too. Westridge Mobile Home versus Jacob Vidir. That matter is dismissed on plaintiff's motion without prejudice. Yeah, we should be done with Westridge. Yes, they think that's it for Westridge. Um, Whitaker Oaks versus Paige Dubitsky and Ashton Dubitsky. Sorry, thank you for the plaintiff. Good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. For the record, Peter Beck appearing on behalf of Paige and Ashton Dubisky. Uh, we're also here, Your Honor, Paige and Ashton Dubisky. All right. Last time we were here, you're going to pay 700 800 on the 16th. We I ordered the landlord to take a partial payment. Where are we now in this case? Um, I paid... The $700 on the, on the second. Sorry, and then the $800 right, you, on the 14th. Hold on. Hold on. I think the you have an attorney representing you, right, folks? Yes. Okay, why don't you let them talk? This is what they do for a living. Otherwise, the attorneys feel useless, so we don't want that to happen. All right, Mr. Beck, go ahead, sir. <laughs> Your Honor, there was a... Uh, I promised to make $800 payment by Friday, uh, June the 16th. The payment was right. made yesterday by Ms. Dubinsky. And what we're asking, what she's asking is for an opportunity to pay $1,000 every two weeks. So there'll be $1,000 paying on June the 30th of 2023. And two weeks after that, an additional $1,000. There's currently, I believe, an owing, amount owing of $5,173. Minus the eight hundred dollars brings the total down to four thousand three hundred seventy-three dollars. So basically, what we're asking for, Your Honor, is some additional time to get her to uh, be able to uh, satisfy the uh, outstanding balance. It sounds like a conditional dismissal would be yeah. appropriate here, Your Honor. So if we want to just kick this out a little bit, me and Attorney Bill right. can hopefully hash it out before the next hearing and get it filed. Why don't I do that? Let's do June 30th, 2023 at 12 noon. Let you guys try to work out a conditional dismissal. And then, Mr. and Mrs. Dubisky, you'll be able to see what the magic that attorneys can do, okay? So, yes. um, are you going to pay any? You're going to pay eight, 800 today. Are you going to pay anything before the 30th? Um, Your Honor, I paid the 800 that was due today. I paid it on Wednesday the 14th because I got paid a couple days early through my bank. 
Okay. Are you going to be able to pay anything before the 30th? I get paid on the 30th. Um, so that's when I was going to do the $1,000. So here's, we'll, here's what we'll do. Um, they're going to try to wrap this up in a conditional dismissal. So I'll let the attorneys deal with that and with any additional payment so that it'd be credited. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. We'll see everybody on the 30th. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Your Honor. Thank you. Court calls the case of Whitaker Oaks versus is it Vantonio Yates Hickenbottom. Bottom. Awesome. Taken for the plaintiff. I'm here, Your Honor. And last time I was here, they were second. Okay, where are you in terms of payment, sir? Um, I moved. Oh, you know, moved. I thought we can't. Yes, yeah, sorry. I, I thought that's what you had said. If we move, well, you said you were going to move. What date did you move? Um, I moved on the fourteenth, but I turned in the keys on the on the fifteenth. Okay, so yesterday. And um, counsel, yes, you don't have you don't have knowledge of that, or no, since it was. Since he turned in the keys just yesterday, that would indicate right. that we have possession. But no, I did not get that from my client. So very brief adjournment. Right. We'll confirm that and then we can dismiss. Correct. Okay, sir. So I'm just going to kick this out to the 30th at 12 noon. Once they confirm that you moved out, it, this case is going to be dismissed likely. Okay? Okay. Thank, All you, right. Your Honor. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Whitaker Oaks versus Ann Smith. Brent, take them for the plaintiff. I'm here. <laughs> okay. Hello, Miss Smith. All right. Where? Okay. I'm not sure what that meant, but where are we in this case? It looks like we've adjourned for Miss Smith to make payments. However, I'm still showing significant amount owed. I've got 1642.05 as the redemptive amount, which is 1482.05 plus 160 of court cost. Ms. Smith, do you have a plan to pay that since this is the third hearing? Uh, we've been talking to the manager. Uh, my mom actually was in the hospital uh, within like the last week with a heart attack. So we've been oh, working I'm out sorry. a payment with uh, the manager and she's full aware of everything going on. So. Okay, so okay. essentially it sounds like we could be able to do a conditional dismissal. Okay. Um, yeah, I think from what I see and what I can remember, I think she was going to try to catch up, but yeah, we're working on it. Yeah, she's <laughs> not quite there. And, but but the one good thing is is that from May, we're now in June. The balance hasn't increased. She's sort of kept herself in that, I guess, right. the same negative spot she was in. Okay, <laughs> so. Maybe what can happen then is let me put this out to the 30th. No objection. Okay. See if you guys can work something out. If not, we'll figure something out. And that'd be at 12 o'clock noon. Very good. All right. Thank you. And and Miss Smith. Yeah. Wish your family all the best. Okay. And hope your mom's good. Thank you. All right. Take care. Huckmar. Is it Chalilia versus Justin Holbrook? Yes, Your Honor. I am Plaintiff Mutukumar Chelaya. I am here. Mr. Holbrook? Yes. You're here? All right. Pardon? Oh, I'm sorry. And there's also last name Kumar. I guess the Tija Kumar and Regis Kumar. This is a termination case. I'm here. What's going on? I'm Nitya Ja. Your Honor, I have given them enough time to vacate the house. I'm looking for the possession, trying to sell the house. They started moving like six months ago. Then they didn't do it. I even paid them for uh, moving supplies, truck, and storage. And they asked for a week last week with the other judge, but they haven't done anything for the whole week. 
Uh, I've been busy with work. I'm the only one that's been able to move anything. Um, I was supposed to go down there today and you know, move some things. I just haven't had the chance all week. And um, we don't have much left. We've been moving stuff out for a while, but that was due to mold report that we have gotten back. We weren't able to live in the home. So we started to move our things out. But then our uh, items in our the basement got damaged. Um, and we were told through him that we'll be um, receiving compensation for our items through the insurance company, even though we don't didn't have renter's insurance, but we are his family. So we were told that we were going to be getting compensated for our items. So that's what took so long for us to move out of all of, move all of our items out. But at this point, we just really have things in like the garage and the pool barn. Um, it's a 10 so acre. We're going to have all of that out. Um, I'm trying to take one more trip down there because we currently live an hour away. So I have to figure out the best ways to get down there and when I can and to make a trip. So I'm trying to do like one more trip. Um, I'm either can going to be out by the end of the, can you be out by the end of the month? Yes. Then here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to adjourn this matter out June 30th. I'm going to indicate defendants to move out by then. Your Honor, um, may I ask if we can have... I'm sorry. Um, I didn't mean to ignore you. Go ahead, ma'am. No, it's okay. Um, I also agree. Um, we will be moving our stuff out. All we have is um, small items in the basement and the pool barn. Um, I have not had a chance to be able to go get it as well. Um, is there a way I can get a one week extension? Because I do have um, work that whole week. So if we can maybe do some time in July, just so I have an opportunity to get my items. Plaintiff, you have a problem with me giving a date in July? Your Honor, I've been trying to sell the house for a whole year. And I had two, three potential buyers walk away because of their behaviors, responsibility. And I have a Buy you to close the house. I have okay, so, hold on, hold on, folks. Sir, whose yes, father sir. are you? Nitya. That's your dad. Yes. You don't want to give your daughter another week into the no, July. Sir. No, sir. I have a potential really? buyer. Walked away a couple times already. I lost thirty-five thousand dollars more deal. I put so much money for this house. They paid nothing. And uh, I put her through college. And uh, like I had, a, I had a closing date last week. I have closing. The buyer is ready to close today. I don't know if, if they will still stick around or not. I lost so much money. Like I am also living an hour away, coming here, taking care of the house. I am not able to maintain. All the left in the garage and barn is the trash. From last year, animals really? getting in there, tearing really? apart. It's your honor, yes, your sir. honor, we've um, been told that we've had to leave the property and stop packing up our items because he's been showing the house, and this has been happening for months. I've been on on an on like we've not been noticed, been, been notified, and he's just been brought, bringing people there. We've had birthday parties and he's used that as excuses and people have came there and still tried to kick everybody out. And so that is the main problem. Every time I'm there trying to move my items out, there's somebody there. He comes there and he calls the police on me. He called the police on me for trying to take my pool because he was trying to sell the house with the pool. Um, so every time I go there, there's been the issue on we have to leave early. We can't get as many things as we would like. OK, here's what I'm going to do. Your Honor, you like yeah. he took the kitchen sink on the top from the basement that does not belong to him. It belongs to the house. He changed the locks on me. He took the lock box. He took the uh, sale sign of the realtor. He broke into the house. They broke the drywalls in the house. Took up, damaged the house so bad. The value has gone Brown. so much. They like yeah. working, you know, kick the house, bang and damage so much. Last so much, sir, like it's the worst house. Sir, like it's a very bad. Sir, I'm to do sir, more damage. Sir, Jesus, Pete. Mm. Hey, all done now. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Is 
Is it 7-7? Seven, seven? Sorry? July 7th. I'm going to indicate that the defendants are say they're going to move. They'll be out. And what time? Nine. So what I'm going to do, since you won't give your daughter another week to try to get it done, she just asked for that to get the little things out. Not her, my daughter. I guess I'll give her another week. So we're going to go to July 7th, 2023, 9 a.m. You guys are to be out by that time, sir. You are not to do anything to interfere with their moving out. You understand that? Yes, sir. And uh, like they have been saying this, and my daughter said she will kill me before him. They are so bad like that. And he spied okay. the whole Did I tell you family. to keep talking? No, sir. I Sorry. didn't think so. All right. We'll see you guys on the 7th. Everybody have a great 4th. Thank you, Thank Your, you Honor. Your Honor. I appreciate it. <laughs> Laquanda Marshall versus Katanjika. Tanjanika Thomas. Good morning. I missed that. All right. Don't have the... who, who said good morning to me? I did. Laquanda Marshall. All right, Ms. Marshall's here. I don't have the, defendant. the defendant is not here. Oh, she's here. The, I see I'm her good. on there. Where are you? Oh, she. she I think muted. she's up there, but she's muted. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now, ma'am. I'm sorry about that. No, it's okay. It's okay. All right, folks, this is a termination. Where are we on this case? Hi, Your Honor. So, um, Ms. Thomas has uh, reached out to SOS and um, applied for some assistance. And so, her um, case is pending. And so, it, I guess it'll be, a, they told us it'll be about four weeks before they know anything. So, um, and she's agreed to pay her July's rent. And so, I guess I would just like to allow well, then, SOS to see if they will. So assist her okay so you're willing to adjourn this out 30 days to see where we are correct contingent right. upon Ms. the payment yes understood miss thomas you. you're going to get your july rent paid and then i'm going to put this out 30 days is that your understanding yes sir all right all right i'll adjourn this then to july 14th 2023 9 a.m I'll indicate in here, defendant to pay July rent. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, honor. folks. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bernice Di Dyer versus Tina, is it Wagasi? Wagasi. Yes. Wagasi, Wagasi, however you like. Wagasi. <laughs> Wagasi. Okay. All right, I have Tina and George Wagasi. All right, yes. where are we at this? 100% moved out. You say again? 100%. Oh my God. You're moved out? Correct. Sure. Ms. Dyer, is that your understanding? Yes, they moved out. Uh, yesterday, they were supposed to be out Tuesday. And no, they, we were they, to Friday. They, oh. I'm, I'm talking, please. I love this Wrong. family, Kate. No, and, you don't uh, stop them talking. I, this is my courtroom, not your house. Stop. My house. Right. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. They moved out. Yes. Oh. What do you want me to do? They still have stuff in the house. And they took the dog. They come in yesterday and they stole my dog. That dog was given to me. I have a bill of sale. No. Yes. <laughs> From the owner. Just wait till he says something. Okay, so let me get this right. You guys moved out. There's still stuff there, and now there's a dog missing. No, it's there's not missing. Thing. The dog is my wife's. We have a bill of the animal. 
It was never my mother's. Okay. What kind of dog is it? It's a Labrador. Okay, so it's a real dog. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so let, let, let me just start with the property first. Okay. In terms of property, had, Ms. Dyer is saying that there are certain things that are there. No. But you guys are saying you moved out. You don't want any of the stuff that may be yours or she no. thinks is yours, right? No. Correct. Okay. Um, I don't know that there's a, a whole lot I can do about the dog. Somebody's going to have to sue somebody else about the dog because that's not part of this case. I didn't think so. <laughs> Boy, this is not right. Oh, it's 100% right. No, it's not. Yeah. Folks. Okay. Okay. If I wanted to be a family law judge, that's what I would have done. I really don't want to. This is my second one of the day. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. If they moved out, it's all been satisfied. I, is there any reason I shouldn't dismiss the case, Ms. Dyer? Yeah, judge, the dog is in registered in my name, and I've taken care of him for five years. This is my dog. What's and they're, they're lying. They, Excuse I me. Is, <laughs> she took care of him while I lived there for five years. No, she took it to the vet one time. Just, so the dog is not hers. It's not even this case issue. I know. We are 100% moved out. And I know that's all you care about, Judge. <laughs> well, no, I care about the dog. Oh, well, think, the dog is mine. The dog are, is given you, to you me. You guys are fighting over the dog. I don't think the dog ought to be with either one of you. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. If they moved out, you filed a termination. That means this case is dismissed. It's going to be dismissed without prejudice. If Ms. Dyer, and I'm not suggesting it, but if you want to sue for the dog, you're going to have to sue for the dog. I will. That's not part of this case. Right. So I can't deal with that. Okay. All right. You go Thank you, folks. You will not win. Sir, enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, too late. Close out the case. Dennis <laughs> Rappas versus Jacob Smith.